you know, just knowing where your teammates are and where you're meant to force guys and, and what they want to do is, is you know, what it comes down to. If you do come off the bench as the backup center, is the thought sort of to be a change of pace guy, change the game up a little with your unique style? Uh, you know, that's up to Spo. You know, whatever Spo wants to do. Um, you know, it's, yeah, I don't think you're a change of pace guy. You know, you're playing your game. You know, you're playing your game, whatever your game is. And you know, whenever you're on the floor, that's what you want to play. Kelly, was there a point this week where this stopped seeming like a new place for you? Is there a point where it just got more comfortable? Or was it just a progression kind of all week that, that this group seemed more and more normal? Yeah, it's definitely a progression. And uh, you know, there's still a progression, you know. You know, you haven't had a lot of time to gel with guys. Um, you know, I was telling someone the other day, you know, in training camp, you, know, you play with, you know, the same few guys maybe first day and then second day, and then they switch the teams, and now you've, you've never played with the other guys. So, um, you know, just getting used to you know, everybody's style, where they like the ball, what they like to do, tendencies, that kind of stuff, um, you know, it helps a lot. Um, so I think it's going to you know, keep growing and growing and growing as this preseason goes along, and hopefully we're ready to see the hits. It's only been six days, but just how much more of an understanding do you have of what's supposed to come on, the way things work around here? How much, how much did you take away from camp just on those fronts? A lot, you know, a lot. Um, you know, it, was, it was nice to, you know, to get away from, from the arena a little bit and you know, get together with the guys and just kind of you know, spend some time with each other. You know, for me, you know, not knowing anybody, not knowing on the court or off the court, not knowing their, you know, their system or anything like that. You, know, you only see it from afar, so kind of being in it and you know, realizing you know, this is what they want, this is what they like, this is you know, how they do it, uh, you know, this is the objectives, this is the goals. Um, you know, that's big, and it just you know, helps you go that much farther. How awkward is it when you're, when you're a freshman going to a big-time program, when you're a rookie going into the league, when you're an established guy coming to a new team? How are those adjustments? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it, awkward's the right word. I think it's more, uh, it's, it's different. You know, it's um, unknown, it's unique, I, you know, especially when, you know, you've been in this league for four, five years, whatever it is, um, you, you know, where you have, where you were, you've done it one way the whole time. And, you know, that's kind of ingrained in your mind. And, you know, over four or five years, you know, those actions become habits and those, you know, habits become routines and rituals and all that kind of stuff. And now when you, when you flip the script, and you get into a game or a scrimmage or something like that, um, you know, you kind of, your body automatically you know, drives towards its habits rather than, you know, what you're quote unquote supposed to do sometimes. So, um, you know, just trying to break those habits and get in the flow of what they are trying to do um, is big. And I think the more, the more we're together and you know, the more obviously you get into it, 